Hello to all my friends out there. It's me, it's Mr. Brock, otherwise known as Mr. Brockley, bringing you yet another music lesson on this fine day. I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that your hearts are happy and light today. And if they're not, maybe by the end of our time together, you'll feel a little bit better. I thought it would be fun to start off today with a hello song. And this is a little different than our hello there, how are you, our echo song. In fact, this is a new kind of hello song, and it goes like this. Listen first, Mr. Brock's turn. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my friends. Have we done this song before? Would you like to sing it with me? Let's try it together. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my friends. Now we have a little copycat time where I am going to pat or clap or snap, and I would like for you to echo. That means you do the same as the teacher, right? All right, here are my hands. I'm going to keep a nice steady beat on my knees. If you are laying down, would you please sit up? That would be great. Sitting up nice and tall in your chair, like Mr. Brock, or if you're sitting on your bed, or you're sitting on the floor, or maybe you're outside. Sitting up cross-legged is the way to go. Nice steady beat while we sing. Ready to sing with Mr. Brock? Best singing voices on. And one, two, and here we go. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my friends. I'm going to pat three times and then you echo. Here I go. One, two, three. You try. One, two. Now I'm going to clap. One, two, three. You try. Now I'm going to snap. If this is a little difficult, you can just kind of fake it until you make it. One, two, three. Three, you try. Hey, how'd it go? All right, now it's time to put it all together, and Mr. Brock's not going to talk this time. All right, nice steady beat. Excellent. And sing with me. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's make music. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my friends. And did you make it? Give yourself a round of applause. Bravo. Now I've got something new to share with you all. And if you are in first grade this year, then you may have seen this poster before. Isn't this an amazing poster? If you're in kindergarten, this is probably brand new to you. This is one of my packs posters. And when I say packs, I mean peace sign packs. Can you show me little rabbit ears, a peace sign like this? Peace. And on my packs poster, what do I have? I have two squares, don't I? I have a, what color is this square? Right, it's red. And then what color is this square? It's green. Exactly right. Now, Red and green, where else in the world do we see those colors together? Maybe a stop sign, you see a red. Maybe a stop light, you say, you see red and green. We're missing a color in the middle, yellow, right? So the red square is red because unfortunately, can you try this? It's a thumbs down. It means spleens. And spleens are things we don't want to see 
when we are at school, either in the music class or in the library or in our own classrooms. And while we are online learning, I also want you to think about spleens. What are things that we don't want to see and don't want to hear? Maybe blurting out. If you have a question, instead of raising your hand, that would be a spleen. What about just getting up and walking away from your camera during a lesson? That would be a spleen, a spleen for sure, wouldn't it? Hmm. What about not doing your eye ready or not doing your assignments for your teacher? That also would be a spleen. So these are things that we don't want to see or hear. Uh, while we are learning. Now over here on this side, we have a thumbs up or a PAX, right? Thumbs up means go PAX. These are okay. What are sorts of things that you can think of that you would like to see or hear during a lesson? Would the students be doing the right thing if they were using their best singing voices during a lesson? Absolutely, that would be a go pax, right? That would be okay. What about if they are sitting up nice and tall during a lesson? That would be okay too. Can you think of anything else? What else would be okay? Oh, I know. Making sure that you watch a music lesson every week, right? That would be an okay. Now let's say we're having some trouble and there are spleens going on, oh dear. Now, I have a little instrument. This is kind of our instrument for the week. This is a harmonica. And the harmonicas that you normally see are like silver, maybe with black or red on it. This is a blue one, especially made for packs. So as a teacher, if I see or hear are some things that are spleens, Give me a thumbs down, show me spleens, right? Things we don't want to see and don't want to um, hear, right? Maybe the teacher might want to get your attention. So, what do you think this instrument sounds like? Shall I play it? Here I go. Isn't that fun? No, I can go the other direction too. Now this instrument I've used before in class, and it works great. So if you ever hear Mr. Brock play, you know that it is time to show me Pax peace sign. Show me that you are ready to learn, sitting up nice and tall, and you are watching, you're listening, your voices are turned off, and you are ready to learn. All right, can we practice? All right, so I want you to mess around a little bit. Maybe if there's somebody in the room, I want you to talk to them, but not so loudly that you can't hear the, the signal, right? Uh, maybe you could do some coloring if you've got a pencil or a crayon nearby, or maybe you could stomp your feet or pat your hands. Okay, ready? Go. Did you stop? Did you show me packs? Are you sitting up nice and tall? Are your voices turned off? Are your eyes watching and waiting for directions? Awesome! Very, very nicely done. So boys and girls, this is a little bit about packs, and we'll talk more about packs down the road. Make sure you listen for the signal. I thought it would be fun to end our time together with a spooky Halloween song. It's actually more funny than it is spooky, but we are going to count and we are gonna start one, two, three, four, and five. Can you try counting with me? We're gonna use pointer finger as number one, tall man is number two, ring finger is number three, Pinky is number four, and Thumpkin is number five. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and now here is our funny Halloween song. 
it's actually a chant because we just use speaking voices, but it goes like this. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, There are witches in the air. The third one said, But I don't care. The fourth one said, Let's go and have some fun. And the fifth one said, Let's run and run and run. Then went the wind and went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Let's try it one more time. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but I don't care. The fourth one said, let's go and have some fun. And the fifth one said, let's run and run and run. Then went the wind and went the light. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Now, some of you might be wondering, mm, we do it a little differently in my class with my teacher. And you know what? That's okay. Sometimes when these songs or these chants are taught, they get changed up sometimes. And that's absolutely okay. Now, I would like to do the counting part, and I want you to finish, to finish each line. Let's practice. Five little pumpkins sitting on the gate. The first one said... How'd you do? Do you remember? Oh my, it's getting late. All right, let's keep going. The second one said... The third one said... The fourth one said... And the fifth one said... Then... Whoosh, went the wind and out went the lights and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun learning something about packs and learning a new spooky Halloween song. I will see you next time for some more music fun. Take care.